picture a new piece of equipment coming straight off the assembly line. That's what he was. He was just top notch, grade A Marine. This is a look at the movie Jarabek, which is about a local Marine who lost his life while fighting in Iraq. Ryan Jarabek was killed in 2004, and the film takes a look at the toll his death has taken on the Jarabek family. It will make its Northeast Wisconsin premiere next week at the Meyer Theater. And this morning, Ryan's parents, Ken and Rita Jarabek, join me with more on the movie. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning, Good morning. I want to start out with, um, I've, I'm reading this statement from the director of the film um, about your son, and um, she kind of gives us more of an insight into what it's about, and I'm going to read this. Um, Marines from Ryan's company bared their emotions in uncensored accounts of the war, and remarkably, an embedded photographer captured the moment surrounding the ambush that cost Ryan's life. That must have been a really tough film for you guys to watch? You know, we, um, we had met many of the Marines that Ryan served with when we went to the memorial service at Camp Pendleton in November of 2004. And it was emotional seeing them talk in the film about their feelings about serving with Ryan and their, their thoughts and memories about him, um, talking about the day of the ambush and Ryan's death knowing that um, you know they had been at the site, um, recovered his body, and cared for his body uh, with a lot of love and respect as you would for a brother. Ken, how did you feel when you, when you first saw the film? It's tough, tough emotionally to watch. Uh, hardest part is to, to know that these young men uh, that are in this film love my son like a brother. And, uh, very, very emotional for me to see them and, and their reactions as they speak on this documentary uh, film of their emotion. And that's what hit me the hardest, is to know that they love my son that much. Uh, what are you hoping that other people get out of this film? This film is just, uh, just to show one segment of one family out of 4,000 in the nation who've lost their son or daughter in combat. And it just speaks of what one family goes through through a two and a half year period, uh, the loss and grief oh, stages dying. of what we've gone through and that's knowing that I've got a younger son that's going to be serving this, uh, this country and his turmoil, whether he should join or whether he should not. Do you think the film crew uh, accurately portrayed uh, what, you, what you had hoped? Part of um, what, what didn't come through in the film is that we had multiple levels of grief going on in our family with not just losing Ryan, but also the illness and death of my dad, who was um, battling cancer and was, was very ill and on hospice care while Ryan was in Iraq. I worked and was one of his caregivers. Um, so it was, it was very hard losing my dad six months after Ryan. And I, I think that, you know, that definitely isn't part of the documentary, but was a huge emotional impact on all of our family that we were also coping with the loss of, of my dad and the loss of Ryan, um, making it a very complex situation and difficult emotionally to invite camera crews into your home and share your feelings. So uh, on an emotional level, uh, there have been comments that maybe I was a big guarded or didn't open up as they hoped that I would have, but I think for me I needed to be strong for my dad, for my mom, and to also continue offering them support and care. The premiere is uh, a week from Wednesday uh, at the Meyer Theater in downtown Green Bay. Are you planning to attend? We would like to be there. Our son, Nick, who's been a Marine now for two years, is flying into Green Bay that night at 8.55, so we'll try to be at the premiere, but we know we need to be to the airport to greet him when he gets off that plane. And, so. uh, of course, there are, you, you guys have, have really come up with some wonderful ways to honor Ryan's memory, including uh, the, the Jarabek Memorial Challenge that's coming up soon as well. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Well, this is our fourth year for the Jarabek Challenge, and it started out as just a, 
a thought about bringing a few people together to run the four-mile route that Ryan ran as he was preparing for boot camp. It's a beautiful country setting in Hobart that starts at Four Seasons Park on North Overland Drive, continues down to the memorial at our home, and past uh, around a four-mile block that's just gorgeous woods, rolling hills, and um, a beautiful way to retrace Ryan's steps. The mission statement of of our event is to support our troops, thank our vets, and honor our fallen. And this year we're just so privileged to have many of Ryan's platoon who served with him in Iraq coming for their first reunion. So there's 10 of them coming. There are five Marines from Camp Pendleton, 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines who are flying here from California to be with us that day to carry the battalion flag the whole four miles of the route and um, in honor of 2-4 and the fallen. So we're real excited about that. Wow. Well, we thank you both so much for joining us this morning. We're going to put more information about uh, this film that is coming out, Jarabek, as well as uh, more information about how you can get involved in the upcoming uh, Memorial Challenge, the run. So thank you again, both of you, for joining us oh, this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.